All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people in Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, all Staten Island, my home borough, Brooklyn. Back at another video, and an, uh, an unfortunate, kind of sad video. Today commemorates the 15th anniversary of the death of the legendary Michael Jackson, the King of Pop. And you see by the headline, the King of Pop is dead at 50. You know, I, Michael Jackson's death was the biggest death of my lifetime. Like, I'll never forget where I was, and you know, I had you know, discover Michael Jackson's music, you know, uh, like I say a few years prior to his death, you know, through my, my parents, of course, you know, they grew up during the Michael Jackson's peak in the 80s and, you know, it's like early, mid 90s when he was the, undeniably the biggest pop star on the planet. Like, Michael Jackson, like, like there's Mount Rushmore and then there's Mount Olympus. Michael Jackson's on Mount Olympus. We're talking about singers, dancers, entertainers, and he is unquestionably the king of pop. I mean, pop, R&B, Disco, soul, new jack swing, even. <laughs> my, my guy hits in damn near every genre. He's the greatest dancer, greatest singer. Well, well, greatest singer in terms of like, you know, albums and hit songs and accolades and stuff like that. Now we're talking about pure singing ability. That's another conversation. But you know, Michael would be, be in that conversation as well. But yeah, Michael Jackson and Elvis, you know, those guys are like Mount Olympus, you know, musical icons. And I don't think anybody's particularly close to them. But Michael left behind a legacy of, like, and that's Michael's legacy to me. I mean, of course, I didn't know him as a person, and, you know, we're not going to talk about his, controvers his, uh, his controversies, but, you know, his legacy is the king the king of pop, the king of pop, and the great, the greatest, you know, singer, dancer, entertainer, whatever you want to call it, of all time. Okay, I mean, from, I mean, this dude's been performing since he was a kid, since he was, like, eight, nine years old, giving us le legendary albums and classic songs as a kid with his brothers, of course, you know, the Jackson Five, you know, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, and himself, and of course, led by their father, jo Joseph, and of course, you know, ABC, and I Want You Back, and, you know, I'll Be There, Rock and Robin, and then of course, Jermaine, as we know, left the group, got replaced by Randy, and, you know, as the Jacksons, they left Motown, of course, and as the Jacksons, you know, they had songs like Blame It on the Boogie and Dancing Machine. I believe Dancing Machine, was that Jackson 5 or was that the, the Jacksons? No, a, a Jackson song. <laughs> I like to call it like that. Dancing Machine, Blame It on the Boogie. It's probably my favorite song of, like, his era with this group, his, when he was with his brothers, former with his brothers. And, of course, we all know Michael went solo dolo, linked up with legendary producer Quincy Jones. And this was his first, of many, well, this wasn't his first album, but his first First off, of a run of legendary albums with Quincy Jones, Off the Wall, you know. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and Rock With You, so on and so forth. So this is at the height of the disco era. And from this, we got, we went to Thriller, which is perhaps the greatest album in the history of music. I mean, I mean, th I mean talk about the definition of a pop album. I mean, from Thriller, the, the title song Thriller to <laughs> The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney, which is a very underrated song. That song was great. You know, smooth criminal. Da, 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 dun, dun. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted, but you, we all know this. And of course, the legendary music video for Thriller, which is, probably, which is to me the greatest music video of all time. I mean, this, this this pretty much kicked off the music video era. Michael Jackson set the standard for music videos with this. And of course, we all know MTV wasn't playing music videos by black artists, by by black artists, and Michael Jackson kind of force them to with the thriller video and the Billy Jean video. Billy Jean is not my love. Okay, let me let me stop. I, I, I can't help it, man. It's Michael Jackson. I can't help it. And of course, from this, they went to bad. You know I'm bad. I'm bad. Really, really bad. And a lot of people may not know this, but Michael wanted to work with Prince on that song. But Prince didn't want to do it because Prince's problem was he thought there was nothing bad about Michael Jackson. He think Michael was a bad boy, you know, if you will. And also the opening line, your butt is mine. <laughs> Prince, like, who's going to be singing that to who? Because you ain't singing that to me. And I ain't singing that to you. But, <laughs> no, very, no, very unfortunate. I would have loved to have seen that, that collaboration. But, no, it didn't happen. Of course, Michael and Quincy eventually went their separate ways. And he linked up with the king of New Jack Swing, the innovator, Teddy Riley, to produce the Dangerous album, which is, of course, the highest selling New Jack Swing album ever. Do you remember the time? You know, that music video which had Eddie Murphy and Magic, excuse me, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Yeah, of course, Michael, of course, went on to release more work, you know. What, what's, that al what's that album with the song, you know, You Rock My World, which had in the music video Chris Tucker was in it? 
What was that? What album was that on? I forget. Damn, it's keeping my mind for some reason. But yeah, when Michael Jackson's death was announced, I was like, oh my God. And it was like, dude, like you, you have no idea. Like you had to have been there to understand how big his death was. Like imagine when Kobe Bryant passed away, multiply it by seven. Like that's how big Michael's death was. It shocked everybody. Like I remember MTV, VH1, everybody was playing his music videos all week. They kept showing the biopic, the Jacksons and American Dream for months after the fact. Months after the fact, I don't think people, like, you had to have been there. And, you know, Michael Jackson's death was one of the biggest news stories of the 2000s. That's saying a lot. I mean, of course, we all know 9-11 happened and Barack Obama, <laughs> the first black president, getting elected. But Michael, and, of course, a lot of people don't know this, but Farrah Fawcett also, I believe, died on the same day as Michael Jackson. But, you know, with all respect to Farrah Fawcett, it's Michael Jackson. A pop culture icon of the late 60s, 70s, definitely the 80s. In the 90s and forever more. But you know, what what do you guys do? You guys remember where you were on Michael Jackson's death? What's your favorite Michael Jackson album? Mine is you know Thriller. My favorite song? <sighs> wow, too many, too many. I'll say from Thriller. You know, of course, probably the title track, and then you know, the girl is mine with Paul McCartney. But again, if you guys guys, that's a very underrated song. It was a great song to me. But tell me your favorite album. Tell me your favorite era of Michael Jackson. Jackson, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. Subscribe. I know my latest videos have all been like anniversary videos. I know, but you know, you know the NBA season just wrapped up, so I know we're going into the dog days of the sports year, <laughs> at least until uh, training camp starts, unless something like some trades or some free agency thing happens in the NBA. But in the meantime, I'll see y'all. Rest in peace to the King of Pop.